Howdy and welcome to Sunday afternoon football. Dennis Kometi speaking. Welcome to Etihad Stadium. Well, I know one of the teams was hoping the roof would be open for this match so they could take advantage of the wet weather. Well, no such luck. All in all, a good turnout for this particular match. My ally in the box for this match will be Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Hi, Dan. It's great to be here today. The first quarter officially started. The will to win is important, but the will to prepare is vital. One down by Martin. Rockliffe bumped off the ball. What was he thinking? Akins bumped off the ball. Dishes it off by hand. Beams with the interception. Penetrating hand pass. Zorko with his head down, running for home. He lays off the pass. Intercept by Stephen. He grabs it on the run. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. The Lions take the first goal. There's the bounce. Martin without a touch. The clearance by Hickey. Beams picks it up. Beams aims for his man on the ground. Good tap from Steele. He gains possession. Reroll on the ball at the moment. St Kilda get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Reroll to the man. Big thump from Hickey, scoops up the bouncing ball. Martin spears the ball. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Dempster foolishly pushes his opponent in the back. Shot at goal by Hipwood. A goal for Brisbane. Brisbane put only a one goal lead. Hipwood may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Chips it down towards half forward. Steven, it's just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. The mark will be paid. Billings covers some ground with that kick. Gresham misses the ball. He taps the ball. Harwood by hand. Nice interception. Ross hand passes the ball. He knocks it down. He taps it. Taylor knocks it down. He scoops up the loose ball. McStay slams the ball to his boot. Hand passes. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Beams kicks it out of the congestion. Gilbert is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. No one around troubling him there. Puts boot to ball. No one around troubling him there. He slams that on the boot. Matheson with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Zorko puts the ball in the hands of fate. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Rich. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Gets his force. That's two in a row for the Lions. Two goal lead for Brisbane. The ball has been bounced. Andrews is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He knocks it down. Geary gets onto the ball. Buick with handball. Robinson evades. Handballs it into open space. He goes for home, puts boot to ball. He grabs it. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. With the ball now. Rich launches one towards goal. Now that miss could prove costly. The Lions by 13. He plays it to himself. Jams it on the boot now. Well, he gave it a shot. Robertson gets the interception on the bounce. Drops the mark, and McCrum is awaiting. Lester has it. Lester has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Steven slams the ball to his boot. Ross boots it. Bell with real good use of the body. He slams that on the boot. The mark will be paid. Robinson with the kick. Lester drops the ball. Ross scoops it up. He takes the contested mark. Chips it down towards half forward. McStay with the mark. McStay, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. He marks the ball. He lines it up with the goal. He runs into the goal, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. The 
be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Brisbane in front. A kick to himself and play on by Gilbert. Slams it on the boot. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the back like a pop-up toaster. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores are the Lions, 20, St Kilda, 6. The Saints need to... And we go for quarter number two. The winners in life constantly think in terms of I can, I will, and I am. He gets his hands on the footy. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. The Lions have run to their tally. That's number two. That's three in a row for the Lions. The Lions by 20 points. Hickey wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. It goes through for a behind. The Lions by 21. Gilbert will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. 35 metres out. Going for goal number two. So close, but just misses. Brisbane in front. Gilbert has a lovely kick on him. If he can utilise that in heavy traffic, he will become crucial to his team's finals ambitions. Stephen puts his boot on it. He slams that on the boot, kept his composure then. Weller kicks it, the mark will be paid. He slams that on the boot, he gets the upper hand. Higgins controls. Jams it on the boot now. Hickey has a great set of hands, fantastic mark. Interception, gets a handball away. Rockliffe hand passes the ball to the runner going past. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Brisbane had one to their tally. Good things coming through as that's his third. And they stretch out their lead. Both Ruckman. Bounce goes the ball. Martin with a big fist on it. Stephen with a big bump to Beams. Rockliffe cops it from behind. A spearing kick from Billings. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 40 metres out. Yoon's going for number one. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. The Saints are in some real trouble here. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Hickey, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Dishes it off by hand. Gets it away in the nick of time. Taylor gets the interception on the bounce. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Rockcliffe has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Good mark. Akers kicks the ball. Has the mark all to himself. Ross puts his boot on it. Kept his composure then. Geary with the kick. A great mark under pressure. 40 metres out. A 45 degree angle for this kick. He's having a ball. And so it's skills but fun. That's number two. Their intensity is growing. They want to get back in this. Here's the bounce. Brisbane Gruckman cannot win a hit out and their midfielders are reading that the Saints Gruckman like a book and they are getting first hands to the ball. It takes a strong mark. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. He slams that on the boot. Geary marks it. Sending it on its way. Nunes with the mark. Fix it. Strong mark. 45 metres out. Yuri likes his chances for goal. Give him a rap and they'll let you down every time. You're right, Dennis. That is a letdown. The contest, no match for him. 30 metres out. A chance to add one more to his talents and kill it. Get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Nunes kicks number two. Nunes has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Intercept by Carlisle. Beams gets a less than pretty drop putt away. He gives the ball away. Akins has the ball. Rockliffe with the pass. He's got it. Did he see a ghost? Hepwood. Couldn't seal the deal. The Lions leads by 10. Gilbert, it's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. He kicks the ball, he grabs it, puts boot to ball. 
He gets the upper hand. Steele kicks it long. Beam swings the contested ball. Puts boot to ball. He climbs the ball. Chips it down towards half forward. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Sends it on its way. Cross wins the marking contest. The Simon sounds, and that's the end of the second term. The scores the Lions 35. Dickinson killed at 25. How you respond to the challenge in the second half? The players have taken to the ground looking refreshed and they're ready, so let's get the third term going. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Beams hand passes. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. Robertson with the tap. Rich with the tap. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Not his intention, but he goes across the boundary line. Empire calls for a boundary throw. The Rackman jostles for position. Hickey gets the tap. Billings gets the ball. I think he just wants attention. Guided by Pepperoni. Scoops up the ball. Martin approaching home now. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. He's been starting to exert some dominance efforts and killed it with a lead of 41 to 25. Jumping at shadows. Beams with a kick out of the pack. Zorko is a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decisions no matter what's happening on the field around him. He gathers the ball. He hits it. Takes possession. Puts boot to ball. He knocks it down. Hipwood passes it. He's approaching the goals now. Hipwood kicks for goal. Guided by Robertson. Rich guides it. And it's close to goal as the ball goes over the boundary line. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Martin not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leap out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Steele gets it on the bounce. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 40 meters out. Beams to kick from almost directly in front of goal. Gilbert is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. Steven gets the mark without contest. Savage drops the ball. Martin gets cleaned up. Savage picks up the ball. Martin off for the Lions. Guided by Hickey, he scoops the ball off the ground. Well, it's no wonder the Lions are leading. They're playing smart footy and they've been careful not to hand over unnecessary free kicks. Armitage sharks the ball away. Armitage gets possession. He takes a big bump. He hand passes it. Nunes heading for goal. Nunes, you beauty. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Carlisle just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Geary passes it. Carlisle has a kick. The goal for St Kilda. St Kilda are trailing Brisbane. Where's the bounce? Carlisle can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. He takes the contested mark. Matheson puts his boot on it. Kept his composure then. He holds onto it too long and it'll be a free. Weller puts his boot on it. Savage with the ball. Sending it on its way. A great mark under pressure. Jalal puts the ball in the hands of Faith. Mixed day. Decisively. Armitage passes. Able to grab it on the half volley. Montagna gets the post. Looks like he's going to go long. Kick to himself. Kicks. Great mark over the pack. A rushed kick. A great effort. Bastinac can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Savage getting into position for the kick. He slams that on the boot, lining it up with the goal now. This kick to seek and kill to take the lead. And tackles the Saints. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Andrews knocks it down the field. He's able to thread a needle, and that kick comes out of the pack. Takes possession. Steal decisively. Jalil gets the tap. Clean tap by McStay. Zorko decisively. Shoots off the handball. Gets boot to high. Nice contested mark by Nunes. Umpire has called it 50. He'll step it out. Nunes. That's his fifth goal. He'll be very happy with his game here. Nunes can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Geary gains possession through the interception. With the ball now. He's had lots of touches this match. Wins the hard ball. Carlisle boots it. 
Mazed with the mark. There's been a lot to enjoy in the third quarter. The scores at St Kilda 50, Brisbane 42. If St Kilda can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a... One quarter to play. The more difficult the victory, the greater the happiness in winning. The ball bounced favourably for the next day. It kicks with power. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Picture perfect drop pass. Marks. Stephen kicks. Hands like dinner plates. Kicks. He has space for an easy mark. Stephen is pretty good at hangers. He just needs to work on getting some more height if he really wants to master the skill. Brisbane get the goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Pickett gets a free kick. Gets boot to leather. Nice hands. Mick Stay has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Robinson kicks it. He gets it under pressure. He lays off the pass. He kicks it long. That's a mark. Kicks it. Great mark under pressure. Gets boot to leather. Cutler, the better man there. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Gets boot to high. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. Goes up the line. Takes that one strongly. Hickey is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees, and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Weller puts his boot on it. Stephen takes the mark uncontested. He slams that on the boot. Robinson keeps that one low. Zorko enjoying a height advantage. Nice interception. Steele gives the ball to the running man. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. The ball in the hands of Bakers. Kicks it. Wins the hard ball. Yuri just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Yuri feeds it wide. Munes claims the ball. 45 metres out, pumps it inside the 50. Nice mark there. 25 metres out, a 45 degree angle for this kick. Reroll executes the goal well. Good things coming through as that's his third. All is in readiness. There's the bounce. Tapped by Martin, controlled by Carlisle. Matheson claims the ball. Matheson is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. He slams that on the boot. Gilbert intercepted that well. Rich kicks for goal. Goal for Brisbane. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. One down by Hickey. Robinson is able to grab it on the half volley. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young Lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. Geary grabs that one. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. That ball's traveling. He's missed the goal. Sin killed it by three points. Taylor gets set to kick it back in. Strong mark. Booted by Buick. Beams marks it. Jams it on the boot now. A great effort. McStay goes to midfield. Takes it well. Martin. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Let's see if they can take the lead. Magnificent kick of the footy. Brisbane steal the lead back. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Andrews with the tap. Controlled by Brown. Billings puts it on the boot. Slams it on the boot. He wins the contest. Low spearing kick. Hands like dinner plates. Puts boot to ball. Taken by Dempster. Goes it across half back. It was all his. Brown has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Rockliffe kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. Not much time remaining in the match. Puts boot to ball. Ross with the mark. Kicks it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. A low stabbing kick. Wow, that was such a close game. They can finally unclench.
Richard, did you enjoy the matchup between the Lions and the Saints? Well, they looked great on paper before the game, but as they say, paper teams win paper cups. Thanks for that, Richard. Final scores are 60 to 57. Thanks for joining us, Richard, but that's all we have time for. It was great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match. Thanks for joining us, as all. Hello and welcome. Get ready, it's time for Sunday afternoon football. It's great to be back in Brisbane, where it seems like the only thing that grows here is the crime rate. Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. I'm happy to be here today. Contending today's match is the Lions and the Tigers. Well, they say patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for this... I'm excited for this one, Richard. Leadership like coaching is fighting for the hearts and souls of men and getting them to believe in you. Able to grab it on the half volley. Rich with the pass. He runs for home. Not what he intended with that kick. He wins the contest. 20 metres from home. Papaloni with the shot. That's a very well-executed goal. He's going to score first. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Martin aims for his man on the ground. Rans handballs it. Martin bucks. A loose ball scooped up. Caught with the ball. the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Cuts towards the middle. Man Curvis. Looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Man Curvis needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. Rewalt well, goes for home. A goal to the Tigers. Richmond on the scoreboard now. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Cleared by Martin. Penetrating hand pass. He runs into the goal. Nice mark under pressure. Cross passes. Going for goal number one. He kicks it. Gun barrel stroke. Gets his first. The Lions with a marginal one goal lead. The umpire has bounced the ball. Martin nicely outclassing Nan Curvis. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Kicks it across the ground. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Great grab. Pooley needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. He marks the ball. Nan Curvis kicks it. The mark will be paid. The ball is stuck towards goal by Cooper. And he's missed. Less than a goal the difference. Richmond still in with a chance. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Slams it on the boot. McIntosh was surrounded. 
He needed to mark it, and he did. Sends the Sharon on its way. A great effort. A monster kick will be required from here. A chance right here to overtake what's been a powerful opposition. What was he thinking? Kick by Mays. McStay has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. McStay's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Prestia kicks it. He gets the upper hand. Andrews puts his boot on it. That's a mark. Sends the ball to open space. Tackled, but gets the handball off. He shows the quick hands. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Intercepted. Martin with the interception. He controls the bouncing ball. Lester, the better man there. Lester's got good knowledge of the game, and you can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. Rioli with the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Pooley takes the mark. Choose to kick it. Nice mark under pressure. Caddy. They'll snatch the lead if he can slot this. He gains possession, gets a handball away, heads up the corridor. Andrews marks on the run. Gets boot to Weber. The contest, no match for him. Boots it. Takes that one strongly. Dawson has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. He gets a fist to it. Pooley gets a fist to it. Marich kicks the ball. Nan Curvis takes the mark uncontested. He gets boot to the ball. Zorko with a strong mark. Jams it on the boot. Wins the hard ball. Puts boot to ball. Great mark. Boots it. Here's Richo with his stats. Neither the siren sounds for the second quarter. Just keep going. Everybody gets better if they keep at it. He gains possession. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He's been caught holding the footy. Bumps the big skin. And the mark will be paid. Nan Curtis slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Picked up by McIntosh. Floston, the better man there. Almost in the bag from this position, you think. This kick to see Richmond take the lead. Richmond in the lead. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Nice bounce. Martin not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the Karate Kid and sweep the knee. Rance onto the ball. McStay got under it. McStay. He's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Martin puts his boot on it. That's a mark. He boots it. The mark will be paid. He steadies now in front of goal. Kicks to the attacking 50. Miles marks. Distance could be the problem. Bumps the big skin. Opportunity for Lloyd. Lloyd shoots. It's going. That's a goal. What a long kick. The Tigers by seven points. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. The Lions are losing the battle at the stoppages. They need to get some more grunt in there, contest well, and be super competitive. If they can't win the hit out, they need to force the secondary ball up if the ball doesn't fall into their hands. Lloyd with the mark. 40 meters out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Richmond could score the last three goals. Richmond leads by 13. The ball is bounced. Nan Curtis directs it down. Lloyd comes away with the ball. He's picked up an injury. Richo, what does it look like to you? He looks to be in a lot of pain. He'll be going off now, definitely. Hand passes. Interception. He grabs it on the run. Martin marks it. Jams it on the boot now. Pasternak marks on the run. Stabs the ball. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. And the mark will be paid. Cochin kicks it. Caddy takes it well. Slams it on the boot. Gloston was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. 35 meters out. Kicking from about a 30-degree angle here. Nice work from Gloston. He's bagged a couple now. Gloston is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Beams with the tap. Tap 
by Zorko, smothers it. The ball spills to Green. The spilled ball is collected. Gives it to Martin. Rans boots it. Nice hands. It's clear that the Tigers have been practicing their marks during the week. They've wrapped up plenty of catches, contested or not, and it's showing on the scoreboard. Lambert goes for goal. Oh, and it's missed. They look for a quick option here. A pinpoint That's pass is the key. Taylor clears it out of the 50. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. He's on a 30 degree angle. Marked by Flaston. 35 metres out. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Fantastic goal by Flaston. The Tigers have scored the last five goals. The Tigers by 26. Flaston really wears his heart on his sleeve. Intercept by Hooley. Takes possession. Marriage slams it on the boot. Lining up the goal now. Oh, he's given that to up an almighty thumb. Nice hands. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Nice contested mark by Green. Richmond, which has been so dominant in the marking contests, and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Nice bit of power, then. He takes the contested mark. He kicks the ball. Green's just the better man in that contest. He boots it. Hooley with great hands. Slams it on the roof. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Although the Lions have had 16 handballs, it's... Looks like the players are ready for this. Let's get started. They've come out from the long break and hopefully they have agreed upon the price they must pay for success. Doing this enables teams to ignore the minor hurts, the opposition pressure and the temporary failures. Frost the better man there. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number one. If that post was a couple of centimetres thinner, it would be like uh, Edwards kicking the ball to himself. Bad kick, resulting in a free to Richmond. Nice drop pass. Nice work from Grimes. Grimes. He's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. Tap by Nan Kervis. Hipwood taps it, tapped by Asbury. Perhaps he was trying to audition for the ballet. Dawson is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. Passed by Cross. He's running hot, Richard. He's been outstanding all match then. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mine messes up more shots than the body. 25 metres out. The Lions need to put in everything they have to try and turn this one around. Here's the bounce. Tapped by Nan Kervis. Andrews is able to grab it on the half volley. Tapped by Rance. Gets boot to high. McIntosh, the better man there. Sends it on its way. Marked by Miles. Miles seems to go for that extra leverage off an opponent by propping his hands on their shoulders. He won't get pinged every time, but he will have to be careful with his technique not to get caught for hands in the back. Bastinac kicks the ball. Buick marks it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Beams grabs that one. He gets boot to the ball. He comes off hands. Hooley grabs the ball on the bounce. Hotchin taps it. Andrews with handball. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. The ball is tapped. Dawson with the shot. Magnificent kick of the footy. That's two in a row for the Lions. They're still in this. Nan Kervis punches Howard with the mighty fist and passes. He's running hot, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. He couldn't hang on. The ball bounced favorably for Pepperoni. Nice kick. Two goals would change the lead in favor of the Lions. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Nan Kervis is really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Harwood puts his boot on it. He gets it under pressure. He kicks the ball. Hooley marks it. Puts boot to ball. Good mark. He lays off the pass. He boots it. Miles with an easy mark. Sends it on its way. Beams takes the mark. Jams it on the boot. I guess it was worth a go. Tapped by Bandrews. Gets a handball away. Miles plays it off to the running man. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Rewald kicks for goal. 
And he's missed. The Tigers by eight points. Taylor waiting for the man to free up. He plays it to himself. Picture perfect drop punt. Hands like dinner plates. It's clear that the Tigers have been practicing their marks during the week. They've wrapped up plenty of catches, contested or not, and it's showing on the scoreboard. Rioli scoops up the ball. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Caddy takes a shot. He's missed the goal. The Tigers have the edge over Brisbane in this match. Taylor waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Flossed <laughs> I hope everyone at home is recording this match. I know it's illegal, but this is definitely a moment worth preserving. Marriage taps it. He controls the bouncing ball. Wow, some of his heads border on felonious assault. Real lining up. 40 meters out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Real with a great kick. That's his second. This kick has extended their lead. The bounce. Laser straight. Martin with the tap. Rance bumped off the ball. Quick kick out of the pack by Beams. A mark by Prestia. Kicks it long. Martin, the better man there. What do the stats look like, Richo? Neither team showing any superiority in the... One quarter to play. The game isn't over till it's over. Nan Curtis. Try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Deft touch from Cutler. Takes control of the bouncing ball. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Beams lining up. Sends it on its way. Nice hands. Grimes with a daisy cutter. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Rance sends one up towards the wing. Beams with the mark. Brisbane just can't find a free man inside 50 and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Quick hands finding the running player. Harwood gets the free. Puts boot to ball. Hipwood marks it. He gets boot to the ball. He claims the ball. Lining up the goal now. He's having a ball. If you'll excuse the pun. The Lions just drop more than two goals behind. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Martin decisively. He controls the bouncing ball. Hooley has the ball. He's running hot, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Hotching. It's just a phenomenal mark. If I ever saw him drop one, I'll eat my hat. Puts boot to ball. No one around troubling him there. Zorko boots it. He gets the upper hand. He kicks the ball. Miles with a strong mark. Bumps the big skin. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Boyd will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. Boyd scores with a beautiful kick, and they stretch out their lead. Richmond by 21. Lloyd can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Nan Curtis hardly provided a challenge. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed. Keeps it close to the ground. A nice uncontested mark for Martin. The Lions just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Magnificent goal. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Man Curtis. Not even close to getting a hit out. You might have to take a leaf out of the Karate Kid and sweep the knee. A desperate kick there. Hipwood aims for his man on the ground. Howard has the ball. I think he just wants attention. Pat Roney dishes it off by hand. Pat Roney bides it. The bouncing ball is controlled. Over the years, he's forged his reputation on courage and smart results. I don't think they'll be coming back out. That was nasty stuff. The bounce straight down. Nan Curtis directs it down. He has the ball. Howard with the running catch. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Gets boot to leather. Tap by Lester. Miles taps. Does well to keep it in play. He gains possession with the ball now. He's really a ball magnet. Rich with the tap. Howard gets the tap. Deft touch from Zorko. Rams a good drummer. Prestia with the football. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Tapped by Gotcha. Tapped by Lester. With the ball now. Quick hands find the running player. Approaching the goals now. The mark missed by Frost. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. 
The Lions trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. Great grab. Edwards seems to go for that extra leverage off an opponent by propping his hands on their shoulders. He won't get pinged every time, but he will have to be careful with his technique not to get caught for hands in the back. Cutler can passes the ball. Prestia applying great pressure there. He lays off the pass. What are you doing, son? Robinson kicks for goal. The goal for Brisbane. Brisbane can score the last two goals. The intensity is building as time to close the margin disappears. Collected by next day. Puts boots aboard. Christensen boots it. Andrews has it. Chips it down towards half forward. Brig was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. What an end to the match. So close, but victory just out of reach for the Lions. Richo, what did you make of the final result? Well, they were unlucky not to get the result. They need to play with supreme confidence or they'll lose again and then losing. Final scores are 58 to 56. It's all said and done. It's real and it's been firm.